There is a new fashion on the market, and I think it might be fun. <laughs> well, she said, you have a decent body. And she looked me up and down. The contents of her shopping bag lay scattered on the ground. God says, I, what are these? For I swear I didn't know. So she and her tongs wear the latest style. And her face got soft and slow. <laughs> as I, as I scratched my head, I never saw the likes before. And I started questions on what part of the body that they were worn. <laughs> they are to replace your boxers. I told you they were done. In other words, you could say, you have a new holster for your gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I felt a bit embarrassed, for I'm modest, don't you see? She held them up against herself, and then she placed them on my knee. Now, for you folks who've never seen them, I'll explain just what they're like. <sighs> There's not enough material in them that would cover, cover the saddle of a bike. <laughs> At first, they look like something you put around a greyhound's neck when you took him out to lead him or show him around the track. For they seem to be all elastic and very little cloth. I swear there wasn't a mouthful of a for a decent sized moth. Now I used to make catapults way back when I was young. I'm still young. Well these yokes, they look just like that. A lot of rubber and a tongue. So she go and have a shower and see if they fit you. I'll go and wash it in the i go and wash in the ensuite. For I bought myself one too. Well I went and had a shower. For I always try to please. But the trouble started when I got those jokes above my beep knees. <laughs> the sweat was running down my back. I pulled and tried my best. It was like trying to fit a gosling into a swallow's nest. <laughs> now I'm not... Now, it's not that I'm well endowed. I can tell you that I'm not. This is written on the paper, by the way. <laughs> I'm a modest type of fellow, but I'm happy with my lot. With an almighty pull, I got them up. Elastic bands sprung into place. Things to me did not feel right, and I have egg on my face. The tension's getting tighter, up around my thighs. Circulation seemed to cut off, and the tears came to my eyes. <laughs> Other parts, I dare not say, were gathered in a bunch. The pain that I would suffer was far, far past this credit crunch. So I took our second mirror and I held it round to have a look. Not a sign of a cloth in sight. Nothing but a shook. By the way, a shook is an Irish word for a gully. <laughs> to explain in more detail what my poor backside was like, it was like that joke you'd find in big cities where you put the front wheel of a bike. <laughs> Whatever else was happening, I tried hard to walk. My voice was getting a higher tone when I tried to talk. I was stuttering and stammering when I tried to pronounce my words. And all it's not right down there, you know, it affects your vocal cords. So I shout, Maisie, I have them on. What else am I to do? So she... Step into the bedroom, for I mine on too. <laughs> so slowly and surely I reached the bedroom door. This is page three, by the way. It would be an understatement to say that I was very, very sore. And in all of my existence, I never saw an uglier sight. It was enough to scare a bullock. Yes, that spelled right. In the middle of the night. For there she was, Fred Eagle, lying on the bed. Oh, with these catter pull her round her waist and roll her in her head. <laughs> then she started to wave her finger and blow kisses at me. We were like two sumo wrestlers you'd see on TV. <laughs> but then with that, the elastic broke and it hit her in the ear. Another bit went flying and landed on the chandelier. I have one in the I, was, <laughs> I was standing naked as the day I was born. The wife burst out laughing and looked at me in scorn. Says, I, Maisie, I've had enough. It's time we had a talk. 
for I think I was castrated the last time I tried to walk. <laughs> I know that you still love me, and deep down in your heart, the only thing them yokes are good for is to help me split a fart. <laughs> what you're doing to me is nothing short of mortal sin. I'm going to get me boxers, I don't care if they're in the bin. At last, common sense prevailed. Things were back the way they were. That was a couple of years ago, and I still have the odd nightmare. But I feel they're still on me, and there's nothing I can do. If certain parts are not already dead, at least they might be blue. <laughs> I wake in the morning, look down, just to make sure. The person who invented thongs was one contrary whore. <laughs>